Right, in this video I want to do the tracking on some of these cars with the uh, these mud flaps. They always scrape underneath uh, when you're approaching like a raised speed bump. So we you have to do because they get in the way of the laser tracker. Uh, need to, a laser tracking device, need to remove them, first job. So, quite often they've got plastic lugs, I'm going to point my finger there, and this one's got a screw as well. Plastic lug, plastic lug, and screw, and I think plastic lug, that should pop straight off. Also, uh, later on I'm going to remove all this plastic underneath there, on the Civic, so watch out for that one. I'll so I use the screwdriver to wedge out the plastic lugs here and here and uh, Phillips cross plane to move those two, they come out. Right, so they will probably the same in many cars. Probably won't even have the two metal screws and then it's just come out like that. Alright, so uh, the on the Honda Civic Mark 8 2.2 CTDI the tracking should be set at zero, front and back wheel, so front zero and uh, toe in and same for the rear. Or in the case of my Ford Focus, I'm trying to just tape it back, tape back the rubber thing, it's quite flexible this thing because it's all in one piece, all uh, integrated in one piece. Right, because some of these modern cars are so low and they've got such a low Point where the engine is and the tray's low I've had to set this thing low as well so notice here I've got chaff on the or curb rash on the rim uh, so I'm actually going to do it on the tyre there there's a sticky out bit in here of course both sides and I've dropped it right down hopefully it will work it's not exactly as if the rim was brand new and everything but let's see We've got a spot there, so I readjust. Back end of this uh, laser is spot on. And come back to the front. I'm in the other side. And just to remind myself, I'll be putting it on the tyre. So, and I need to find a level spot. Okay, I think that is toe out by. See a red, red, little red dot, tow out by 27, 27 minutes, should be at zero, so that's a little bit too much right, I think about 10 is acceptable, so that may need to be done at some point. Right, so, what number is that, getting this backwards now. And on my Ford Focus, because of the heavy, what are we talk about the bright sunlight, I've uh, had to bring this right the way in. It still worked. It come out as zero. But oh, if you look, see it there. Toe out one minute, something like that. And if it's just plain, you know, I've taken off the. Uh, my guards off the front and even that's not good enough because it's the front of the car all the uh, the lower tray is too far down why not uh, measure the back of the wheel uh, in this case it will be, everything would be reversed so I've got this over here now and this over here instead of at the front so Whatever reading I get, it's the opposite, right? Right, so I need to adjust. Swivel the back of it, that's spot on. And bring the tool over. Realign it, so realign it and then I'll swivel the mirror down. So it'll be the other way, of course, it'll be so that mirror will be all right, so here it is, and uh, trying to do this one-handed. Uh, 
plug in. Swing it down. So I keep swinging down. Make sure these points are touching. There's laser swing into view any second. Right, so same sort of reading as I had earlier. So that is actually it says toe in twenty seven. So it's actually toe out twenty seven. Toe out twenty seven is where it is. So we've got two different separate readings at toe out twenty seven on the Honda Civic. My forward focus was about minute toe out, and it's meant to be. I think it is supposed to be something like. Um, 20 minutes both wheels put together toe in that's the official well i'm happy with zero though zero is fine with me uh so toe out 27 need to bring it in at some point when i'm gonna, when i'm servicing my brakes that's what i need to do but at the moment i just need i just have data all right 